Welcome. Today's project is this JVC XI. Um, this is the uh, main PCB already removed from the case, and normally the CD assembly would plug in here on the right, but I've left it unplugged for now. It'll still operate as a console or cartridge only Genesis without that. Um, this was my childhood XI. I recapped it about a year and a half ago. Worked fine for a little while, but now it's got a new issue where um, let me go ahead and put in a cartridge here and turn it on. It shows the produced by under license from Sega uh, TMSS boot up screen and then just hangs on a black screen. If I hit reset, no response, and power cycle it one more time. Okay, yep, so hangs after showing the TMSS logo. Um, and uh, when I try to boot it up in Sega CD mode, uh, it hangs with a black screen as well. So um, from what I've been researching, uh, when it hangs on that screen, it's because the system is waiting for the Z80 sound processor, uh, which is right there. It's waiting for a response from that. So I think we might have a problem either with that Z80 CPU itself or with its SRAM. Um, its uh, SRAM is on the back side of the board, right? Whoops. Right there, I believe. Could be, uh, yep, IC182. So I'm um, going to focus uh, our efforts at uh, seeing what's going on with those two chips and uh, let's see if we can figure out what's wrong. Okay, so I've hooked the uh, logic analyzer up to the Z80 memory chip. It's on the bottom of the uh, XI board, so I've kind of had to perch it a little bit awkwardly here. I've got the probe hooked up on that side and the cartridge in there on the other side. Um, this is going to be... I've upgraded to a different logic analyzer from the one you may have seen in my previous videos, so it uh, looks a little different, but it's got a few more capabilities than the one I was using before. Uh, what we need to know about here is that I went and did a uh, capture of the uh, boot process and what it shows is that you see that it's starting off with, uh, in this case I only hooked up the address lines and the control lines just to see if we were getting any activity. And what you can see is from right when the XI is powered on all the way to the end of the capture, it shows the same activity, so which is no activity. So it looks like the Z80 processor is not uh, trying to do anything with the SRAM. So it looks like our culprit here is the Z80 CPU because we should be seeing some activity there. Okay, so the Z80 on the XI is this chip right here. And I went and pulled up the uh, schematic for it on the uh, uh, Console 5 wiki. And according to it, the uh, pin 6 Right there is the uh, power lead for it. And so I went and checked and confirmed continuity from pin six there to the cap here. So the power supply continuity is good too. And then I checked the ground, which is up over here, um, pin 27, to uh, the ground over there and confirmed that. So, and then finally I went and checked it with the multimeter and confirmed that it really is getting 5 volts of power. So we don't have a power supply issue with the Z80. Um, it looks like the Z80 itself may have gone bad. So I think the next step is going to be to uh, go ahead and uh, use hot air to lift that off. And then I've got a replacement in the same package that will drop in there. Okay, so I've used some aluminum foil to mask off um, any... Uh, surface mount components that are close to the Z80 because I don't want to accidentally lift anything else up while I'm um, taking it off. So um, next step is going to be to uh, fire up the uh, uh, the uh, hot air station here and uh, just gradually warm that up and lift it off. Um, I don't have a tripod with me today so I'm going to do that off camera. Be right back. Okay, so that Z80 came off pretty easily just with a little bit of uh, heat um, left a little bit of mess behind I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and uh, redo the pads and then I'll be ready to uh, bring the new Z80 on okay I've got the area cleaned and prepped and I've got the new Z80 CPU ready here to drop in so 
I'm going to go ahead and solder it up and we'll see if that fixes the problem. Okay, so the new Z80 is soldered into place and I went and double checked continuity with the meter and made sure all the pads uh, showed good connection to the legs on the chip and that we didn't have any bridging. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the uh, protecting material here and uh, we'll see if that fixed the problem. Okay, I've got the XI connected again to the TV and here we go. Power on. Yep, that was it. The dead Z80, so we just had to swap out that Z80 and this is up and going again. Um, I will go ahead and put it back into its case and hook the Sega CD section back up. Okay, so I've got the main PCB back into the case here and I hooked up the uh, Sega CD section again before it would hang on a black screen when it tried to start up with the Sega CD. Uh, that shouldn't happen now, let's find out. Aha, there we go. 100% functional. Alright, well, glad to have my childhood JVC XI working again. And uh, since I recapped it a year ago, it should be good to go for quite some time to come. So, uh, I guess I'll wrap up this video and I'll be back to you soon with another project.